What's going on everybody? Dead Moon here from The Grave slash Dead TV. And tonight I have a mashup video of a couple Fallout 4 mystery mini blind box figures I'm going to unbox for you and obviously for myself. And yep, I bought another Nook. We're also going to show my brand new Nook I got from Barnes and Noble. Dot com. We all know how much I love my nooks, so let's. You know what? I can't take it. Let's just let's just look at the nook. Let's get to the nook. Oh man, I can't wait. Another nook. So carefully. Nooks are delicate. So, all right. This is in here. Piece of cardboard. I don't know. All right. Some bubble wrap. Or air, filler air, I guess. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? We have an invoice. We're not going to show you that because that's not important. And as personal info. Um, uh, yes, our good friends at Booking.com get $30 back. You know what? I'm not going to plug these guys. Let's get that out of here. And, of course, a free graze box. Hmm. Uh, I guess that doesn't matter either. So anyways, I'm just effing around. Obviously, what I really got was the Wizard Deadpool Funko Pop tonight, guys. That's right, he came in the mail. Um, the box, they put it in, pretty decent. Um, there was some fill air um, protecting it on one side. And there was this piece of cardboard that was sitting, supposedly supposed to be sitting on top of the pop. Um, it, when I opened it, it was actually sitting right here which I believe may have caused a little tiny crease right here, which isn't that big of a deal. It's not bad. Um, otherwise, the pop's in great shape. Barnes & Noble has always sent me pops in good shape, so that one is uh, definitely no exception there. Looks pretty great. I uh, went and ordered one when it went live on the Internet because I had gone into my local store and I did a pre-order. I believe it was either Funko Finders or Dis Funko, somebody on uh, Instagram, told me actually I was at the mall, which is um, in a town over from me, not too far, it's like 10 miles, whatever. We have a really good mall out there, and um, we have a Barnes & Noble, and I got an alert on my phone, and they said that it was pre-orderable in-store, and I went in there, and they were pretty freaking rude to me about it. Um, they didn't really care. I, they were kind of sketchy. None of them actually seemed like they even knew if they were going to give it to me or have it available for me even though they confirmed that they had like 20 coming anyways they did a pre-order for me they took no money um, which I thought was weird I thought I'd have to give them a little bit a little bit of a deposit or something you know but they took no money and I got no phone call I have a receipt for a pre-order and I have no phone call um, that's not to say that they just haven't gotten them yet but I mean I don't know I ordered this one after they had said theirs was on their way, so it's a good thing I ordered one, <clears throat> excuse me, off of their website because I just didn't trust the in-store pre-order. I don't know if anybody else uh, out there watching this video did an in-store pre-order. Let me know what your experience is like. Uh, did you have to pay up front? Did you have to give them like a $5 deposit? Were they nice to you when you asked? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to open this bad boy up. I'm going to get the uh, Funko Pop rotating stand out so we can check him out in a 360 degree view get it turned on all right got the Barnes and Noble exclusive bookseller club <laughs> sticker on it and we're gonna open this very carefully oh, I hate that part this was my most wanted Deadpool figure um, Teddy Pole is really cool and everybody's freaking out over him but the majority of people just want to make money off of him. And that's what I believe, so... I guess I can't really talk too much, because I did buy the six of the exclusive 7-Eleven Deadpools, but that was just pure luck. I mean, I did a video on it. Check it out if you want to see what it's all about, but... Um, yeah, most of those are gone, but then again, I was moving, so... My light turned off. I must have turned it off. There we go. I used it for moving expenses, um, so... I didn't just use it to... Uh, fund my life in a sense i mean as far as like a job or whatever but you gotta do the hand test first make sure he doesn't want to fall looks like he's going to be a-okay and we'll get something out here to set the camera up on so you guys can get a shot 
of this wizard Deadpool Barnes and Noble book club member exclusive. That's what it's called. You don't have to be no damn book club member. Excuse the uh, cardboard boxes and the um, mess, I suppose, off to the side there. I'm, uh, like I said, still moving, still packing. Um, as you can imagine, I am a collector, so I have quite a bit to pack. And work's been busy, so I've had very little time. And yes, that is a brown blanket I throw over my TV because otherwise there's a ton of glare and it looks really stupid. So, anyways, back to the Deadpool. He has a bobblehead. I love this one. He looks great. His uh, staff there has a Deadpool symbol on it. His face, it's really cool. Um, I just love it all around. It's a really solid Funko Pop. It's uh, made very well. And it's Deadpool as a wizard. He's got the big old beard and everything. Really really cool like I said my favorite Deadpool that has come out um, of course there is the sexy pose Deadpool mermaid Deadpool clown Deadpool chicken Deadpool wizard obviously I have in front of you cheerleader Deadpool King Deadpool bedtime De Deadpool panda pool which everybody freaks out about and samurai Deadpool which I like the samurai one I think I'm gonna try and grab that one next um, I definitely want a teddy pool but or a panda pool sorry but I guess that can wait. I have seen Cheerleader in person, uh, Bedtime, Sexy Pose, um, and King Deadpool. None of those really strike me. The Sexy Pose one's probably the funniest, but anyhow, I definitely like the Wizard and the Samurai and the Panda Pool. I don't know which ones you guys like. Leave a comment below in the comment section. So we're going to pop, pun intended, Wizard Pool. I love it. It's love. It. I love holding it and looking at it. Really, really cool. All right, moving along with this video, we'll sit him over here, and we'll lower the camera, because the next thing we're going to do, move him forward just a little bit, next thing we're going to do is open, so that's the side, these two, just got them today, Fallout 4, Funko Blind Mystery Mini little figures, little Funko blinds, and I haven't bought too many of these, um, I believe I bought a couple in the past, and um, I had pulled, really lucky, really lucky, and I pulled, I pulled the Silver Shroud right there, she's a 1 in 72, that was like the first one I pulled, um, but I think that's the only one I ever bought, um, don't know why, I guess I was just waiting for them to go down in price, which they never really did. I think GameStop had them for $1.99. I, I totally missed that train. But anyhow, I did find these at my local Walgreens. They were not on sale, but I want to buy them because I think Codsworth, Assaultron, and Protectron are like 30 bucks a piece, something like that. And Grognark or Grog, I can't, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong. The uh, Barbarian comic, uh, Barbarian guy. He, uh, I think he's pretty much $30 as well. But this line seems to be pretty popular. And uh, I know I pulled Nick Valentine um, the other day and a Soul Survivor female. I pulled those two out of two I bought earlier from Walgreens. Um, I think it was like th two or three days ago. But anyhow, the video is about what is in front of me right now. So fingers crossed, Assaultron, Protectron, or Codsworth, or even Grognar. God, that'd be awesome. That's what I'm shooting for, guys. So let's see what happens. Pop the seal. Once you pop, you can't stop. Dump the bag. Mm, nice. Very, very nice. Alright. Typical unbagging fashion. I grab the sides. <clears throat> I take my knife. I insert in. I rip outwards. I yank it open for a clean dump. Oh boy. What do you think, guys? It's going to be a disappointment, isn't it? Double. No, I have the Paladin. Was it Dance? Dance? Can't remember how to pronounce his name. Cool Brotherhood of Steel armor there. That's pretty neat. He looks really good. I'm happy with that. One I don't have. All right. I'll set him off to the side. This is just going to cause me to go buy the other four they have left. Sheesh. <sighs> Alright, last one to open right here. This one, I had a strong feeling when I shook it in the store, and even when I just did now, that it is Codsworth. Oh, man, I hope so. 
I really wanted the three robots. And Codsworth a 1 in 12, Assaultron is um, 1 in 12, and uh, Protectron is 1 in 36. Grognark's 1 in 72, of course. Silver Shroud was 1 in 72, but I pulled her. So, anything's possible. Dump. You know what? That's Codsworth. Did you see the way he just sat down? Dude, that's got to be Codsworth. Who else could it be? <sighs> Sheesh. I'm really uh, nervous slash excited, so without further ado, let's move this camera back a little bit. Oh, boy. All right, don't get too excited. It's not Codsworth at all. Holy crap. Okay, I cannot remember this dude's name. I guess I could see why I thought it was Codsworth. He had a wide stance down there since he's crouched. He's actually on one knee. And uh, it seemed like it had more of a flat base. So I was thinking it was Codsworth because Codsworth has a base and it's flat. I guess I didn't notice that he was taking a knee, but I can totally see it on the back of this box. <sighs> Unbelievable. Okay. Well, those are one and six, so I guess the other four are going to be calling my name because I checked eBay and uh, Codsworth and Assaultron, Protectron, and Grognark are like 30 bucks. So I guess I'd rather just take my chances with uh, what's left at the store. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and set these items up here. All right. I'm happy with pretty much anything I get that I don't have, so... No big deal. And there you have it. My three latest pickups that I got the Wizard Deadpool in the mail. It's a Barnes & Noble exclusive. It might be available in your guys' local store right now, so you might want to stop in and check. Um, Paladin Dens, Dens, I can't remember how to say his name, and I do not remember who this person is. It's been a while since I've played. Um... But, nonetheless, um, I'm going to have to look it up. I don't know why it doesn't ring a bell for me, but I don't know. I'm sure somebody will get upset about that, or maybe one of you guys want to inform me who the heck it is. Um, I'll figure it out, obviously, after the video. But, nonetheless, shoot a comment below um, and let me know if you do know before I figure it out, which you won't because I'll figure it out as soon as I stop this video. So, leave a comment anyways. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. I'm pushing 13 minutes. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope everything turned out well. And stay tuned for more blind unboxings because I'm going to go back. They got four more. I'm just going to go buy them. I cannot help myself. Alright, especially since I don't have too many from the whole set. So there's a good chance that uh, I could get something pretty neat. Anyhow, enough of my rambling. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at bdeadmoon. There's the letter B followed by the word deadmoon. You can also catch me on Twitch TV, which you probably never will catch me on Twitch TV because I'm just not a Twitch type of guy, but I do have a Twitch channel and it's dead TV. That's dead underscore T underscore V. And you know, maybe, um, maybe things will work out for me with a little Fallout 76 when that comes out because I plan on uh, streaming that, um, see what happens with that, maybe a little bit of a recording. I haven't really recorded too many video games um, in a while, just too many time constraints with work and my son and all this crazy shit that goes on in my life. I'm just pretty tired and barely even get to try and play a video game anymore, but hey, that's another story. And you can also catch me right here on YouTube where the majority of my um, time is spent as far as free time goes with my collecting. I think it's why I buy more collectibles nowadays than I used to, but I don't know, I've always bought a ton of collectibles since I was a kid, but anyhow, right here on From the Grave, where you'll find Funko Pop unboxings, blind bag, mystery reveals, stuff of any kind of comic book, video game, anime related nature, you'll see on the channel. I look forward to moving into a new home, I'm very, very excited, wish me luck guys, this Saturday I'm going to look at I think about five really, really nice houses, finished basements, gorgeous yards. Um, I've just been really uh, trying to find something really nice for me and my family and uh, trying to find a nice, big, open, finished basement where I can actually finally set up my dream setup with all my game systems, my TVs, and uh, all my action figures and everything. And 
I'd love to have it all out there, put up the way it needs to be and the way I always wanted it to be so I can eventually do a uh, uh, whole room tour and show you guys exactly what I'm working with and all the years I've put into collecting. And hopefully this channel can continue to grow. I know it's um, kind of a drop in the bucket right now and I do have a couple videos for uh, giveaways that you guys uh, might want to check out if you're interested for Funko Pops and I will tell you that I will have several more Funko Pop giveaways. I have some that I bought doubles of that are pretty cool pops that I'm sure plenty of you, most video game and comic book people would be interested in. So stay tuned for that. I don't plan on slowing down. Um, make the videos when I can and when I get time. Things will really pick up uh, when I move into the home and I settle in. So all right guys, that's going to be it. So like, follow, subscribe, you know, leave a comment. It'd be very helpful for the channel. And yeah, that's going to be it for all. For all. That's going to be it for now. Alright guys, I'm out of here. I'm going to play some uh, something. I don't know. I'm going to get something in. <laughs> Alright, I'm tired. I'm done talking. Take care guys.